Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. This time I'm going to talk about how I can link more than two tables with the join or inner join function. Okay, here in this example that's from one of the earlier courses, I already linked the orders and the products table. So here I'm going to use the product code from the orders to look up in the products table the corresponding name and costs of the product. However, it might also be interesting because I have information on the sales representative to list them by name. So who is the guy responsible for selling each of those products? However, for this I would have to link the orders not only with the products but also with the employee data. So I would have to add an additional join to my code. In general, that's not really this hard because as I see here, already the first join is put into one line. So it's all after the from part. So it's the table left, table right, with the inner join in between and then on and how I'm linking those two. So if I want to add a third table, just after all of this, I'm going to put another inner join. But to make clear that it, this is joined to this part, to the whole part here, I'm going to put this in rounded brackets. Oops. So I'm going to go here, put rounded brackets around this, and then go, I'm going to join this, which is now considered one table in its own right going to join this with the third table, which is the employees table. So here I'm going to go employees as E. And again, I have to say how, by which variables I'm going to link it. So here I'm going to go with, on the one hand, from the orders, as I call it, the sales rep so here it's sales rep should be equal to from the employees the employee id employee id then well i might want to add afterwards here for example, from the employees, first name and last name. Can save this, switch to the data view and actually have the information I wanted. The original table as I had it before, the order ID the name of the product sold, the quantity sold, how much subtotal for this position and the person responsible for say, uh, selling this. Now I could in another step also calculate the absolute total with the sum functions we've seen in an earlier session. I'm not going to go into this in this session. Here the important part was just how can I link more than two tables? And here we have the information from the orders. The first one, the order idea, the quantity, and the quantity again in the subtotal. Then from the products, the product name, and the cost or the price, and from the employees, first and last name. The important part to remember in this context was just, I do one join, put this into rounded brackets and then do the second join and treat everything in the rounded brackets as if this were just the left of the two tables joined. And well, that's then already everything there is on working with more than two tables, on linking more than two tables. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm saying goodbye and see you next time.